I'm going to show a relatively quick way to export data, particularly elevation data, from Google Earth Pro. So we need a route. You could either draw a pathway, if it's something that you're interested in, or use the kind of direction feature in Google Earth to create the route. And that's what I've done here. This is the Cherahala Skyway, bridging the mountains in western North Carolina and eastern Tennessee. So once we have this route, we can see what the elevation profile looks like by right-clicking the route and saying show elevation profile. This is a route that reaches over a mile in altitude on the road, very scenic, beautiful place, a long climb up to that peak and then uh, going down into Tennessee. So it's under 1,000 feet in elevation on the Tennessee side and at the beginning on the North Carolina side, over 2,600 feet. So a lot of change in elevation. If you're looking for this elevation data, whether you just want to see a little more details and have that data for roadway analysis, at least planning level type of analysis, or just to know what the elevations are along the roadway, you can use a tool called GPS Visualizer to do this. So I'm going to right click on the route and I'm going to do save place as. And I'm going to call this the Cherahala Skyway, so we have it named where we can easily locate that. At this point, we're going to go to the website GPS Visualizer. And we're going to look up elevation data. So that becomes gpsvisualizer.com slash elevation. We want a plain text file here. So I'm going to choose our Cherahala Skyway. I'm going to convert and add elevation. And you can download this file too if you'd like, but I'm just going to copy it directly from here. This is a, a pretty long route, so a lot of data here. And essentially what this is going to do is it, it's going to just replicate what we saw in Google Earth Pro, but this allows us to access that data. Unfortunately, you can't export it directly from Google Earth. So we're going to an Excel file. and we're going to paste the data we just copied. Uh, the default for this is going to have it all in one column, so we need to do this conversion text to columns. Excel makes this very easy. We click this button. Usually it understands what we're trying to do, and in this case it looks like it does in the preview. So I'm going to hit Finish. We don't need this type column, so I'm going to delete this. Uh, sometimes there's an extra text here in that first cell, just based on this export and copying. Uh, just telling us the name of that file. We named it in Google Earth. And it adds a little bit there. So just cleaning this up just a bit. We now, depending on what you're trying to do, maybe all you need this elevation and altitude data. It tells us in terms of latitude and longitude. But maybe you want to know the distance between each of those points. That allows you to actually develop your alignment. So... We're going to have this incremental distance in our first column. I'll copy, I'll show you the, I'll, I'll provide the equation that I used to do this. And essentially, it's just taking the distance from this point with a Latin long to this point with a Latin long. And these are the same one, so that's dis, that is zero. And if you double click or drag this down, it's going to tell us the way I've set this up. It's the distance between each set of consecutive points. Likely, we want to find the cumulative distance if we want to graph this, and I'll show this graphing. So we can set up an equation here. We're just adding the previous distance to the current distance, dragging that down. So it's just the cumulative of the incremental distances. And now we can graph this. So I'm going to insert a scatter plot. And we want the cumulative distance on the x-axis and the altitude on the y-axis. And yes, that looks like the graph that we saw in Google Earth. And now we've got the data. So if we wanted to, to do something with this in Excel, now we've got the ability to do that. So again, GPS Visualizer are a great tool for exporting that elevation data from Google Earth.